This is the first time in his words that he's told an audience uh, how he's feeling. I will give you a taste of what is quite a long speech. Uh, he says, I must begin, I must say that I can only imagine what you may have heard or perhaps read over the last few weeks. So I want you to hear the truth from me as much as I can share, not as a prince or a duke, but as Harry, the same person that, me pe person that many of you have watched grow up over the last 35 years, but with a clearer perspective. The UK is my home and a place that I love. That will never change. I've grown up feeling support from so many of you, and I watched as you welcomed Meghan with open arms as you saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. Finally, the second son of Diana got hitched. Hooray. I also know you've come to know me well enough over these years to trust that the woman I chose as my wife upholds the same values as I do, and she does, and she is the same woman I fell in love with. We both do everything we can to fly the flag and carry out our roles for the country with pride. Once Megan and I were married, we were excited, we were hopeful, and we were here to serve. For those reasons, it brings me great sadness that it has come to this. He then goes on to talk about how there have been lengthy discussions about what exactly what they wanted to do going forward, saying the decision that I made for my wife and I to step back is not one I've made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges, and I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. How many animals would you say you've probably killed? You think I've kept count? Absolutely. 1,693. Giraffes. You're right. Not yet. Do you need a pen? Why would I need a pen? I'm not sure. If you want a hot dog, then you gotta cook a hot dog. What? 
put it on the stove. But you won't get enough. You won't get enough? Does it help you to eat this wiener thing? I don't think that it does. You know, I slipped and I fell into a coffin this weekend. She actually got every girl's dream. Uh, every young girl wanted to become a princess and she got that. And now she's tossing that away for it looks like she's tossing it away for money. I, I, I apparently three, three million dollars and a 26 bedroom home isn't enough for them. I don't know, I can't answer, I can't go much much further than that. Um, I, I, it's kind of a... to represent the royals and uh, it would be foolish for them not to. This is like one of the greatest long, long living institutions ever. Uh, uh, they're destroying it. They're, they're cheaping it. They're, they're making it shabby. Uh, they're turning it into a Walmart with a crown on it now. It's not, it's, not, it, it's something that's ridiculous. They shouldn't be doing this. I can't. I don't want that. That present is a fail. You. See her reaching out to me, especially now. Uh, and in light of what I'm saying now, she probably won't, uh, or Harry for that matter. Uh, but here again, I... I hope you understand we're puppets. Hmm? I said, I hope you understand that we're puppets. You said we had free will. No, I didn't. That's what you told me. <laughs> <clears throat>